What's going on guys back to some more videos and in today's video Keon Pearson he is currently two weeks out of his 212 debut at the Chicago Pro and here's the most recent update um wow now <laughs> if you remember seeing this guy like it's been about a year right yeah the Olympia was definitely over a year ago because we're in October the Olympia was September last year this guy was not that big <laughs> you know I, he was he had size obviously but like he was not this big last year and you know, he didn't really make, like, a little bit of progress. <laughs> he made a lot of progress. I mean, this is wild. <laughs> this man has 29 pounds in 12 months in the description. Now, I feel like when he actually steps on stage, uh, I believe he is, I think he's, like, 179 here or something. I mean, he's not that heavy. Uh, here, I believe he's, like, 209, you know, 208 or 206 like really heavy like the difference is actually staggering um honestly like he is he in better conditioning man i mean you know he has detail over here in the shoulders that's not very apparent over here uh the angle is a bit different you know maybe he's squeezing a bit harder i'm not exactly sure um and his if you look at the arm this arm is over the opposite hand uh or maybe it's just a mirror photo i'm not exactly sure uh, but none of these delts in this uh, first photo here has this kind of detail. So, you know, I mean, he definitely gained. Like, he gained a lot of freaking mass, bro. And his weakest point probably was a chest. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, th this guy is nuts. I mean, like, I know he's doing 212. But it's like, I can see this guy in the open. You know, honestly, like, imagine him with another. Like, if he could do this in a year like he is literally 30 pounds heavier with this kind of conditioning 12 months after this photo if he can do that in a year bro why not just bolt for like two years and put on like another like he probably just needs like another 20 pounds to really be competitive in the open you know um he's probably he'd probably like a dexter jackson you know uh dexter started out very small you know similar weight i mean dexter was around like you know, but before he really turned like a big pro, he was in the 180s, and then he really gained a lot. And, you know, now Dexter competes in, like the 235s. Um, you know, if he's going to step on stage at about, you know, 209, uh, 204, maybe if he wants to be really dry and peeled, like 200 flat. Um, but I can see him with another like 20 pounds of proper tissue. Uh, look at Hottie Chupan. I mean, Hottie Chupan competes at 220. Um, Dexter, you know, 235. Uh, William Bonac, I think William Bonac is around 240. Um, you know, shorter bodybuilders like Flex Lewis. You know, obviously he competed in 212 not too long ago. Uh, he competed at 212, although he might have looked better at 220. He competed in 212 for a long time, so he weighed 212 for quite a while on stage. Uh, Flex now will probably be like around 230 on stage, but you know, guys, his height, you know, like he's not far away from. Max know where he needs to be to be competitive in the open because, you know, based off of the track record of guys who are his height, you know, he just needs like another 20 pounds of proper tissue, of full on tissue. Like this, he's 207 here. This is freaking 207. I think this might be the same photo, right? Um, in this comparison shot. Yeah, the same photo. So he's 207 here, and here he's about like 179 or something or around there. Uh, very, very, very impressive, man. But honestly, like, I. <laughs> I don't really know who's actually in that uh, 212 Chicago Pro lineup, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't see anyone beating this. Uh, I honestly don't even see Derek Lunsford beating this. I, I don't see Kamal Elgardney beating this. And the thing is that, like, you know, he actually has really good conditioning. Uh, this is him at the Olympia a year ago. Dude, he is freaking peeled. Look at the look at the lines, look at the quads, look at the teardrop, the separation of the obliques and abs. You know, there's actually a picture of his rear. I don't know, man. Like he actually had glutes. Um, I think this is actually yeah, 2018. This wasn't last year. Um, this is when he was supposed to be natural. Um, I'm not gonna question if he is or isn't. I mean, if he says he is, and it is what it is. We we've had Ronnie Coleman. Uh, here's another picture of him, man, like, you know, a couple weeks ago, looking absolutely freaking massive, like, the amount of size he's put on is freaking nuts, uh, but there's a picture of his rear from the Olympia, man, and he had freaking glutes, and I was not sure where that picture is, I'm probably gonna have to scroll down quite a bit to find it, but, uh, trust me when I say this guy comes in really, really good shape, uh, really crazy detailed conditioning, I feel like he nailed it, he nailed it for the Olympia, look at this, 
this here we go. This is actually a good comparison next to Breon, who at the time was a champion. Uh, his conditioning is just as good as Breon. And Breon was freaking peeled. Breon was freaking peeled, bro, with like 70s. Like this did like this conditioning. Obviously, like he's in bodybuilding trunks, so you're gonna see like the full glutes and the full striations and the full detail. It's gonna be madness. So right now, two weeks out, uh looking like a friggin' house and a half. Um, really big, really detailed, put on a ton of friggin' size. Dennis James. That's what uh missing on the Olympia stage. Master class, keep killing it, champ. Yeah, freaking mass, really tight, really deep, clean vacuum, really good pair of legs for the upper body. I mean, he's down here perfect. You know, like if, if I want to pick, like if I want to pick something, you know what I mean? Okay, his ab separation down the middle is quite wide. That's kind of it. You know, um, but I mean, he does a vacuum. Like, who cares? You know, we've had way worse abs on Olympia champions than this guy. You know, I, I don't think Dorian Yates had a good set of abs. Uh, Jay Cutler had, you know, not the best, prettiest set of abs. Um, Ronnie at <laughs> Ronnie didn't even have abs after like 2000, 2001, <laughs> and they all won the Olympias fine. I mean, they, they won multiple Olympias. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, so just a quick video key on player saying two weeks out. Um, let me know if you guys do prefer these videos where I talk about one specific competitor who has uh, one competitor who has an up and coming show where I go into detail about their physique and their prep and what's going on with them right now with the most updated photos. Um, yeah, he's looking freaking nice, guys. So, anyways, quick video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment down below. You're not subscribed. Make it a thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.